Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video, we worked with the one-to-one -one relationship in Laravel. In this video, I'm going to work with one-to-many. And because we have the posts in our database, okay, so here we have posts. Right now it's empty. I'm going to make a relationship post with comments. So I'm going to create comment model and migration. And let's see also if I have factory for the post. No, let's create a factory just to create more easy the post because we don't have right now any posts in our table database. So in the terminal, let's open here the terminal and I'm going to say PHP artisan make a factory. And I'm going to name it post factory. Okay. Close this one and open that factory now. And here we need, let's see what we have in the post. We have title, body, is published, and the image. So let's say title to be dollar sign this. Baker and title. Let's copy and duplicate this because this one is going to be for the body. I'm going to say text and also change this to be body. Now let's uh, copy and duplicate this one. This is going to be is published. And I'm going to make this by default false. So let's say false here. And this one is for the image. And I'm going to say no image. Just string with no image. Okay, say here image. And let's save. Close this one. Now let's create also the comment model and migration. So I'm going to say PHP artisan make model comment and dash m for migration. Okay, now let's open the comments table. Okay, and here what we need to add, we need to add the post ID, so dollar sign table, and I'm going to say for agent ID for post ID, and it's going to be constraint, the same thing we had in the previous one to one, and also I'm going to say on on delete. Cascade. Okay. Next one, I'm going to add the content of the comment. So I'm going to say table string for the content. Let's save it and run the PHP artisan migrate to migrate this table. So PHP artisan migrate. Okay. Now, if we come here and refresh, we have also the comments table. And right now it's empty. Good. Now let's make the relationship between the post and the comment. So in the app models, we have a post here. Let's come first here and say function. So public function and comments, plural, okay, and here we are going to return dollar sign this, now this post is going to as many comments, okay, comment class, let's save it, and let's copy this line here, just to 
save some time, go to the comment and paste it. That line here, and we need only the uh, content and also the post ID here. Good. Now let's create the relationship moth method. Sorry. So function with the name singular now post because this. Uh, comment is going to belong to the post and return dollar sign this now this comment is going to belong to the post post class okay let's save it now let's close this one and also this one and i'm going to use the tinker as in the previous video so clear this up and let's say dollar sign post. Oh, sorry. First, open the Tinker. So PHP artisan Tinker. And now dollar sign post to be with the post factory and say create. For that, I created the Factory just to create quick post, and now we have one post. Also, if we go in here in the post, we have a post here. Uh, that's okay. Now let's create the comment. What does a dollar sign comment one? To be new comment enter okay we have the comment now let's say comment one content is going to be with the i'm going to say first comment okay now we have that comment i'm not going to say comment for uh save because I want to add also the post and it's the same as we had in the previous project with one to one so we can say dollar sign post now we have comments here not comment comments plural and say save and we need to add here the comment one Okay, with that, if I hit enter, we have created the comment and the post ID is one. And if I come here, go to the comments, yeah, here we have. Now, this is the first way and it's more preferred way, this one. Let's see the another way. Let's say dollar sign comment two. And this one. The same thing, just say new comment. Sorry, we need to say comment like this. Comment. Okay, hit enter. Now the last sign comment to content is going to be second comment and another way is the same as we had in the previous project so instead of calling the post comments i'm going to call the comment post so the last sign comment to posts now singular and let's say associate now this comment with a post so Associate and here we need to add the post. And say save. Okay, hit enter. We have true. And of course, if we go in the tables plus refresh, we have second comments and also 
the post ID is one for this one. Good. Let's clear this up and let's also I'm going to zoom it like this a little bit. And now I'm going to create a uh, two comments and save together to the post. So let's say dollar sign. Uh, sorry. Dollar sign comment three is going to be with new comment and dollar sign comment three content is going to be with uh, I'm going to say here the comment three okay now let's do the same thing for the comment four comment four new comment and comment four content is going to be the comment four here changed three to four now we have two the comment three and comment four let's save together to the post so let's say the last and post we have that post and here now we can call the comments relationship method comments okay and instead of saying save the same we had in the previous okay yeah here we have the sign comment the sign post comments save now we want to save many, so we can say save many, and here we need to add an array. So dollar sign comment three, and also dollar sign comment four. Close that one and hit enter. And now we created two comments together with the post. Of course, if we come here and refresh. We have the comment three and comment four with post ID one. Okay, let's clear this up and let's say we want to get all the posts. So if we want to get all the posts without a comments, we can say the last sign post the B post all the static method all. We have learned that. If I hit enter, we have only one post and here it is. We get all the details of that post. But if we want the post also with the related comments, we can say dollar sign posts is going to be now post and say with. And here we need to add the relationship method. and in this case we have the comments relation so let's say with comments okay call the get method and if it enter we have the post which is this one also we have the comments this post has so all the comments comment one uh, two and so on okay friends that's it the relation one to many with laravel i hope you understand and if you like a content like this please subscribe to my channel if you don't have and like the video all the best and see you in the next one thank you very much friends